So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up an OSU stream. Now, I did make a video like this almost a year ago, but it is quite outdated because there are new software and that video uses older software, which is not going to look as good as the one I'm going to be showcasing in this video. So I thought I'd made an update video to, you know, kind of showcase the newer software that I use. So in this video, I'm going to be using OBS because um, it does use less resources than Streamlabs. So it will make recording and streaming a lot easier on my PC. So I've just been using that lately. If you are using Streamlabs, however, it should be the same steps either way. The UI is basically the same. So to start off, let's make a new scene first so we can get a blank canvas on what we are going to make. Now once we have our blank canvas, we are going to go ahead and put our OSU stream overlay. So go get yourself one. If you don't know how to make one, I have a video explaining how to make one in your browser for free. And if you are too lazy to make one, you can just download one of my templates that I have made. Um, there are multiple on my channel, so just go look at that and just change it to your name and you're done. Now once you have your stream overlay, go ahead and add an image overlay. Just press create new, OK. Go press browse and just take the PNG image of your stream overlay and press open. Press OK and now we have our stream overlay into our scene. Now next up, let's just instantly go ahead and add a game capture into our scene. Game capture is basically what's going to record your OSU and going to put it into OBS. So just select the specific window, uh, make it OSU, make sure allow transparency is off and, press, and just press OK. Now especially if you're using one monitor, you should not be able to see your OSU screen. So to fix that, just simply go to OSU, go to option, press this uh, monitor on the left side and then go down to layout and turn off full screen mode and once you alt tap back into OBS as you can see you are going to be able to see your scene so after you've done that just simply hold down this red uh, square in the corner of your game capture and resize it so that it will fit with your uh, stream overlay and once you've done that make sure that the game capture layer is underneath the image layer now let's finish off the basics and let's add the webcam into our scene Let's go ahead and add a video capture device, press create new, ok, and just uh, go onto one of your devices, this is how it's normally going to be, but since I already have a video capture device, it is not going to capture my uh, USB camera, but uh, it, if it does connect, like it should, just go ahead and make the settings default and just press ok. Now once you have the USB camera, just simply resize it like you did with the game capture into the layout. And like before, again, make sure that the image is above of the video capture device layer. So the overlay should be on top and then the webcam and then the game capture. So if you're using one of my newer templates, then there are going to be video layers. So just add a media source, uh, press browse and go to the video. It should be a green screen video. And then just go ahead and make it loop and then turn off show nothing when playback ends and just press OK. And now you should get the screen screened video. Let's go to filter, video filters, and then go to chroma key. And we'll just instantly remove all the green from the video. And now all you have to do is just resize it wherever you want to put the video. And that's it. So now that we're done with the overlay itself, let's go to the software. So for OSU, normally you would want a PP counter. So get this website pulled up, uh, go to memory by a black shark. It's on GitHub. It's going to be linked in the description below. So just go ahead and click that and now all I have to do is just go ahead and scroll down and while scrolling down you're going to be able to see examples of streamers using them so if you want to see that uh, it's there but what we want to do is press the download uh, the latest release and it's just going to open that page and just go ahead and now choose your uh, version whether you are on Windows or Linux so once you've done that just download the app and run the Ghost to Memory app. Now once you have run it, uh, just go ahead and copy this link. Make sure that you run this app after you run OSU by the way. So uh, after you copy the link, just paste it into your browser and you're gonna go to this page. Now just go ahead and pick whichever one you like. The one I normally like to do is Monokai Pain though, but do look around and find one you like. And once you've done that, just go ahead and copy the link for the one that you like and paste it into OBS as a browser source. So just add a new browser source, press OK and just paste the uh, URL into there, refresh the cache and press OK. And just like that, we have ourselves a working PP counter. Now if you're using one of my templates, normally I put some space here to put like, because normally I put my PP counter and my chat beside each other, so it's going to be down there. 
but you can really just put this anywhere you want. So the next software I want to show you guys is this key overlay. This is a new thing that I just think is quite neat, so I'm just going to add it in here. Just go ahead and search up key overlay osu. And the top link is going to be this GitHub page, which I am going to link in the description below. So you just go ahead and press the download link. And now the key overlay.rar file. Once you have it downloaded, go ahead and extract the file, and this is what it's going to look like. So before we actually open the program, go to the config. So this is basically the settings menu of the program. So first of all, the key amount is how much keys you're going to be uh, putting on your uh, app. So for also standard, it's just going to be two, but if you're playing Mania, it might be four keys or seven if you're a psychopath. But since I'm playing standard, I'm only going to be using two. And now you put your also keybinds on the key one and key two. Now I use Z and C, which is why they're on the key one and key two. Make sure that the letters are in capital letters and that's it. Now all you have to do is save the config file and go ahead and open the key overlay.exe file. And now this window will open. Now make sure that this window does not cl close. So don't close it, don't minimize it, just keep it in the background. And now just go ahead and add a Windows capture to your OBS. Make sure that it's set to your key overlay windows. And then go to filters, uh, press plus, and then go to color key, not chroma key, color key. Press custom color and set the color to black. And that is going to remove the entire background of the application. So now it's just going to be the boxes. So you can also change the colors of what you want the pressed keys to be. So all I have to do is just go to filters again and add another filter. This time add a color correction filter. Now once you're here, just go ahead and change the color add and select the color to whatever color you want the uh, pressed key to be. And that's what's gonna come out. So once you're done with that, just close the tab and now you can resize and uh, place this wherever you want this to be. So for the sake of this, I'm just going to put this here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Here's a preview of what I made in the video.